Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So for this one I'll be showing you guys how to do this set of wraps. And I'm um, doing two wraps in this video because this show setup is meant to go together. But I think it flows really well as a group. So let's get started really quickly. It's a five layer wrap. Remo remove all of them. Start with the American flag wrap. Stretch it. That way you get the stars lined up wherever you want them. You could decide how many stars you want on your flag. You want four, three, two. I'm gonna go with these for now. And uh, go ahead and apply that. next wrap is going to be the bottom of the tanks and the edge and I'm gonna make this a silver color that way it kind of looks like a chrome and this also covers the back all the way around oh I almost forgot I think I'm going to make it the same color that way. Uh, it's not that, that obvious. Or like it, I mean, it hopefully flows a bit better. Since this is a big vehicle, it's sort of difficult to really get the, the whole thing to work together. I mean, that sort of looks okay. Go ahead and make the top the same color. Just probably leave those two stars there because why not? Now watch for the transition and uh, try to match it. Do the tanks. It depends how far you guys want it. Uh, could make it right here. The tank wouldn't look that great. So. I'm going to go around right there and I'm um, going to go like I had previously said like a silver color that way it looks sort of chrome apply that and you have an extra layer and I'm going to use that one to cover the back Try to match the color, and uh, there you have it. I 
I'm actually gonna save this one. I think it uh, sort of looks better as blue and not gray. And uh, for this one, it's also five wraps. Start with the American flag, you narrow it so it fits in the hood. Flip it, stretch it, and you align it with this. And uh, now color matching, which is something around here. And then we do the same thing for this side. Go ahead and apply that. And the next one is also an easy step. We're going to stretch this one all the way this way and uh, just move it back to wherever you like. Go ahead and apply that. And then repeat that step. This time you're going to do it in a red color. So when you're at the same positioning, just move it a bit down. And uh, there you have it. And since that took uh, seven minutes, I think I'm gonna go over the tune real quick. They're really basic tunes. Um, this buggy is built for drifting, so. And uh, I really didn't change much aside from the travel. I put it in uh, 23. And uh, the dampening is at 1673. Actually, Socks, have to move that, have to move that, have to move that. And the rear is the same. That's it. The width is stock. Dampening is 1426. Shock, stock, stock, stock. And that's 23. I lowered it a bit. And this, that's really just for looks. Um, tire size, I am running 1.0s front and rear. And uh, it does have a perfect tune. Turbo, gas, stock gears. The deuce. I have it lowered right now. One, because well, that is really low. It's scraping the ground. And uh, two, because I don't like the gooseneck. And uh, I prefer the bumper toe, so. And the tuning for this is uh, the X is with this 0.5. The dampening is 25.17. Leaf springs all the way up. Shocks one, shock size 2.1. Spring bracket, it's uh, one. Top mount stiffness 10,226, and the travel is at 10. For the rear axis width is 0.1, dampening 25.48, leaf springs 0.02, no rear steering, stock shocks, uh, 2.0 shocks. Spring brackets are upper mount. Stiffness is at 9,000. And the travel is at 10. So. 
I hope you guys like this whole setup. I particularly uh, really and like the way it looks. Uh, I'll load the trader right now and uh, take it out. That way you guys can see. Like individually, I think they look good, but uh, when they're together, I think it really sets it off. I'm still really undecided about the color. If I should go back to the gray hat, or if I uh, should keep the blue that's currently on it. So if you guys would let me know what you guys think looks best, I'd really appreciate it. It's taking a bit to load. So maybe I, I could have changed the stripes, uh, the color. Start off with the red one and then with the white one or figure something out. But overall, it still looks like an American flag. Uh, and uh, it's, I mean, I think it looks pretty good. You got your car hauler, you got your drift beetle. I'm just going to try and uh, drift this beetle. How you guys to see kind of how it works. As this does have stock gearing, so it's not the quickest. I mean, you just gotta be playing with the throttle. Really figure it out. Let's start uh, with the handbrake. Downshift. And uh, correct it. The little beetle dress. Really don't have to do much, just uh, hold the throttle. Uh, like the whole transition and everything that's more individual to everybody, how you actually do your transition. And uh, that's where you gotta adapt your tune. Some people don't like it to be as snappy, others. Uh, look for that in a drift tune. So, I mean, as far as the base tune goes, this is uh, pretty simple and should get you all drifting with no problem. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll probably rewrap these again, try to make a different combo, maybe. Uh, Incorporate a C10 or something else. I do like the whole military uh, possibilities for like this one. Uh, I might make it uh, so I could haul my old uh, square body military truck, and uh, that would also showcase how I did the other wrap for those who were wondering. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.